Hi folks, it's Dr. Rohi. I'm looking up here because <laughs> I'm literally sat at my laptop. I've got my big screen and a small screen over here. There may be a delay, so I'm going to take myself off the screen in a minute to show you what's on the screen here. I'm actually live in the middle of a three-day training on property, but I wanted to share this with you mainly because I've actually just shared it with my live audience and it's something I've been talking about for a long time. I've not necessarily shown in the public space, but I think it's worth me doing. I'm just going to try and blow this up and demonstrate to you something that's powerful. So there's a lot of caveats associated with this. It's a calculator that gives you an indication of how much money you need to put aside to be able to live off a certain amount of money in the future. So let me take myself off the screen for a minute and then hopefully you won't get this lag effect, but you should still be able to hear me. So let's see if I've gone. Okay, so I shouldn't be on the screen now and hopefully you are still hearing me. So if I can blow this up to 300%, you might get a better understanding of what I'm trying to show you here. What you're seeing on the screen here, let me take that off as well. What you're seeing on the screen here is essentially a calculator which is on the Mac, which is called the Retirement Savings Calculator. Now what this does is if you put your current age in and you tell it what time you, what day you want to retire and what age you want to retire and your life expectancy and you tell it what your desired income is upon retirement based on a certain interest rate and inflation it will calculate for you what you need to save per month and what you need to have in a pot to be able to live off from 65 to 82 in this example. Now just, just look here for a minute. So it essentially says you've got to save this much money to have a big pot of money here so you can then live off that until you get to 82. Now the problem of course is what if you live past 82, you then go into a negative situation. Now in other words, the money you've saved up now puts you in a very, well, you've got nothing left to live off. So let's just put some numbers in here and I've done, I actually did this with my audience. So if you're 40 and watching this, and you want to work till 65 and you expect to live till 82 and the World Bank tells us it's around 82 years of age then you would need to save 7,892 pounds per month between now and 65 in order to live off 3,608,000 between here and here. Now, try and put this in perspective, that's what you have to save. So if you're earning 10 grand a month and your living costs are five, you still got to find another two. Most people don't have a spare seven or eight grand kicking around to put in a, into a, an account and save for the next 25 years. What the data here tells us, actually, is that due to inflation, over these coming 30 plus years or 20 something years, it starts off at 782, but each year it goes up because of course inflation is working against us. So you'd need to be saving by the time you get to 63, 64, 13 to 14,000 pounds a month saving. So if you said to me, but Dr. O, I'm 30 years of age, I'll put 30 in for you. By the way, this is a bit of a shock. I'm interested in your comments on this. 30 years of age, you only need to save 7,000. Let's just redo that again. So it should have calculated that down. My computer is really slow at the moment. Let's put 20 in there. Okay, for some reason, this is not doing what it should do. It should be recalculating at the bottom. And I think it's because I'm live online with my audience who are on hold and the laptop is struggling to do this, unfortunately. Oh, it's just done it now, okay. <laughs> it's a lag effect, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, the bottom line is, and you have to go do this yourself, 
65. Apologies about this slowness, but unfortunately you're watching it live while the computer's trying to do multiple things. It's calculating there, look, you can see that on the screen. So if you're 20, you want to live to 65 and then retire and live on £100,000 a year, you need to save 5000 a month or £5 million in the bank account. If you tell me, well, okay, Ro, but I'm not 20, I'm watching this and I'm 50, watch, just bear with me, it's because I've got a computer doing a lot of things at the same time at the moment. It's calculating. What this is doing is 50, 50 years of age, you need to save 12,000 pounds per month to have 2.8 million in the bank to enable you to live from here to here. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. See, if we go back to, let's go back to the 40, so the middle-aged person. And again, there's lots of variations and caveats I'm adding here, but meaning that, you know, you haven't got a contribution. So maybe you say to me, oh, but Dr. Rowe, guess what? I've got a contribution at the moment and I'm on state pension, which is about 174 pounds per week, I think. So 174 times 174 times, let's do that one, 174 times 52, is you might have 9,000 pound a year coming in from a state pension. If that's the case, then it recalculates it for you. So according to this, you only have to save 3.2 million and save 7,100 a month. So if you happen to have some sort of pension, you'd put that into here. But let's say, you know, somebody hasn't, they haven't got that preparation in place. We've put 1% interest rate here and, and uh, we put inflation at 2.5%. If you said to me, ah, oh, bro, but I've got money in savings. This is where you realize how little your savings is doing for you. If you said to me, I've got 100,000 pounds sat in a savings account right now, look at the impact this has. So 100,000 pounds in a savings account right now changes the 782 pounds sorry, 7,892 pounds a month have to be saved down to 7,600 a month. Meaning that if you look here, it's only making a tiny little dent just here. It's doing nothing for you. Even if you had, for the sake of argument, 300,000 sat in a bank account, that, that saving needed is tiny. It's just doing a calculation for us now. The, the change in that saving is tiny. 7,000 a month instead of 7,800, meaning that your interest and your inflation are working against each other. Your money's not working hard enough in the bank. It's making a small dent at the beginning, but you're still having to save it. So the, the only solution to this in simple terms is this. And you know, I always joke with people. I say, look, if your money was out of the bank right now, and that's your choice, of course, but if it was, and you put it into, say, a property portfolio, and that property portfolio produced for you over the next few years, you got it up to £100,000 per year, eight HMOs producing £1,000 a month approximately, watch. Watch what happens to this whole thing. If we can get a passive income coming in, boom. Just watch. Now, you don't have to save anything per month because what's happened in this approach is the £100,000 is working now in your favour and essentially what that's doing is it's making that contribution towards your financial freedom happen immediately. Now I don't know if this is making any sense at all or not. Unfortunately it's been a bit slow for me to explain simply because my computer is doing multiple things but there you go. The screen says you don't have to worry about saving anything simply because you're now contributing a hundred grand per year, or in this case, you are getting financially free now. And that's my point. So although this calculator is quite scary, it's a wake up call to let you know, you know what, actually, if I don't do something about this, I'm gonna be in trouble. So I, I'm hoping that makes sense. I don't know, uh, see if I can get myself back on the screen again for you, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put myself on the screen. I'm going to go back to video. I'm presuming that I'm still got a lag on, so apologies about that. I'm speaking very slowly. Hopefully that was useful. The point I want to make is if you go to the pension calculator, you can do this for yourself. It's called Retirement Savings Calculator on a Mac. On a PC, it will be something similar. 
start putting plans now start thinking about what assets you can have now and build to create at least some form of security so you're not relying on this archaic system which unfortunately doesn't serve most people now some of you might be in a slightly different situation but the point is it's about having that additional asset based income okay I'm gonna sign off I'm gonna get back to my audience uh, hopefully that was useful